Hello. Hi. There's no sitting into this one. This is episode zero. The journey's coming to an end, but the drama's not over yet. Check out this sneak peek of the final season of The Hills. This is just like a sneak peek, so then it goes into episode one. So that was the finale. Last video you watched was the finale. We didn't do a drinking game. We didn't do anything. Bear with us. Do season six. Let's see how many episodes season six is. Oh, it's only 12 episodes. So we'll get that in a month. I don't know. Six weeks. Six weeks. We'll see. Let's let's make a deal. First three episodes. Yeah. We're going to keep track of how many scenes I will refer to as unbearable. Okay. And if we get 10 unbearable scenes in the first three episodes, we're going to Laguna Beach. And I'll let you know when an unbearable scene happens so that that can be the barometer for future unbearable scenes. Okay. Let's do it. By the season? No. I don't I think I will go, I will skip so, the discount. I will go two dollars an episode. Just in case. Just in case. I'm not fing wasting money. JIC. Last season. On Screen. I have my own way of doing things. I think you should come out here, right here, and come talk to me like that. But Justin seemed like fair game to me. Are you a single man or are you dating? <laughs> How single is single? even if Audrina was mad about it. You're selfish, you're self-centered, all you care about is yourself. All three of those things are the same. Mm-hmm. Decided to give it a shot anyway. I wanna have fun with you. I wanna do things with you. But that didn't work out at all. What thing? We've seen Brody and Justin, like I have more fun with Brody. I feel like we've just completely grown apart. Do you think he tried to make our I never saw this scene. I think that there's so? She's giving like a um, an update. I feel like this scene was maybe filmed in addition, but there, she's saying that like they didn't last. Oh, they broke up in between seasons. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think they probably broke oh up that night. God. Heidi and Spencer's married life was anything but perfect. You knew I wanted kids when you married me, so it sounds like marrying me was the biggest mistake you've ever made. And Heidi felt something needed to change. As for the rest of the girls. They invited me to Miami for Super Bowl weekend. But I was about to learn that with this crew, everyone has their own idea of fun. Stephanie's back. Hey, how are you? (sighs) Hanging on by a thread, these ladies. Yeah, how was it? I just, I can't believe I'm doing this all over again. I mean, seriously, like I'm only 23 and I've been to jail twice. Like that's not normal. After the DUI, you're on probation now, right? So are you allowed to go out with us. You're basically asking, am I grounded? Yeah. No, I'm not grounded. Um, so I was talking to Brody and the guys, and they Any more detail? had plans to go to Miami for the Super Bowl, and they wanted to know if we were going, like if we wanted to stay in the same hotel. I know. Wait, who's going to go? You, me, Audrina. Kristen. Really? She's our friend. OK. I, I... Or at least she's trying to be. Even Audrina is like was on board with Kristen coming. Are you kidding me? I know, they're kind of getting along. I've missed so much. I know. My brother's still not talking to me. I haven't seen Heidi and Spencer for months. There's been some talk about Heidi and a new face. This is all hearsay. Okay. Eyebrow lift, ears pinned back, nose job, chin job, boob job, butt job. Butt job? Butt job. Liposuction? No, like a, like a bigger butt. Like a, like a little junk in the trunk. Wait, how do, how do you, how do you act? Stephanie's like, is that the trend now? <laughs> oh my God. Like, I haven't even heard of Kim Kardashian yet. Don't know. Right, put on a happy face. Horrible title for this. Heidi plastic surgery episode. I think this whole season, if I remember correctly, there's a scene with her mom who's like, I don't even recognize yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to react. Well, to just that. react naturally. Don't okay. worry, okay? Okay. okay. You paparazzi. Paparazzi? Taking pictures it's of. Definitely Robertson Boulevard. Heidi, I really don't think this is a good idea. You're getting on a plane to Colorado. You need to stay here where I can take care of you. 
I know, but I just haven't been home in a while, and I didn't see my mom since the wedding. And you gonna blow out? She was a little yeah. not knowing about my surgery, so I just kind of feel like I have to do this. Well, Heidi, I'm gonna come with you. No, Spencer, you're not gonna come with me. You and my mom don't get along. Well, dear, you're. I'm like waiting for the reveal too, because like I don't remember the whole. But you know what she looks like now. I know what she looks like now, but it's so different. It's still different. Yeah. He's very into crystals Ooh. right now. He, looks, he really does look like. Like, and like he's starting a call. Yeah. <laughs> I completely agree, and that's why I want her to see how great I look and how happy I finally feel. But you are so unbelievably naive. It's it's just it's sad. I mean, that's enough. I don't want to talk about this anymore. We're gonna be late, so. Okay. Okay. Really teasing this. Yeah. All right, and then in Miami. Fun. Yeah, I like Miami. I like, yeah, I like my, I, Miami on reality TV shows. Yes. I actually like Miami in general. We had such a good time in Miami. Whoa, Frankie Ooh. just jumped off. Audrey and Brody are still out there. Does this when Kristen have like a thing for him that she's not like really talking I mean, about? I mean, it's obvious. I feel like Kristen tries to play it cool. But Absolutely. she's always had a thing for him. I'll be bummed if Audrina and Brody hook up. Everybody's getting along, and that would just piss Kristen off. Totally, totally. I guess we just see what they do tonight. But it's not the end of the world, you know? Why are you two even there? Yeah, like, why are you guys Who so cares? invested? Who cares? It has nothing to do with either of you. No. Get your own storyline. Yeah, go get, a, go get your own storyline. Anxiety. Yeah, same. It's so moody too, so snowy. Oh. Remember what Aww. she used to look like? Where's Holly? Look at that good fruit ball. Hey, mommy. Hi, honey. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Hi, you. Are you all fragile? Oh, be careful. careful with everything. Touch anything. Hi, you. Come on, come in. I know you're Is that Holly? Mm hmm. Honey. Oh, it's so oh, nice to be home. Oh, it's so nice to have you home. So how are you feeling? What, you act like I have a new face or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. It yeah. takes a little getting used to. It's, it's, yeah. it's very weird and very awkward. I'm sorry, I'm just a little. It's okay. So how are you feeling? Are you happy? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I can hardly hear you. Why are you talking so soft? I can't talk um, a lot louder because my jaw is kind of locked up. Hmm. Um, what, th what all did you have done? I got um, I got a slight eyebrow lift, and that's why I had these staples is in my head. Is that permanent? Yeah, it's permanent. That's not, they're not going to come down a little? No. I had um, my nose redone. I had my own fat injected into my cheeks. I had my ears pinned back. I had injections in my lips. I had my chin shaved down. Um, I had my breasts redone and my back shaped. And then I had a little bit of inner and outer lipo done. You risked your life to do the things that you did. Mom, there's brain surgery every day. There's That's, huge surgery. You had an elective every day. surgery that was completely unnecessary. And to you, it was unnecessary. I just feel like that when you left home, you had more confidence and more self esteem than any person I'd ever met in my life. Well, you know, growing up, I used to put water balloons in my bra and I always wanted big boobs, and, you know, it's not anything new. You said you want bigger boobs than you have now? I actually wanted bigger ones, but they couldn't fit in. It sounds to me like you want to look like Barbie. I do want to look like Why Barbie. Why would you want to look like Barbie? <laughs> to everybody else that saw you, you were Heidi. Nobody in the world could have looked like Heidi Montag. Are you telling me you don't think I look good? Uh, maybe you should rephrase the question. No. Do I look good? I mean, how do I go and say that, of course, I thought you were more beautiful before. I thought you were younger. I thought you were fresher looking. I thought you were healthier. What's done is done. So that's a terrible thing for me to say. But yes, yeah. that's how I feel. I felt that you were much more beautiful before. And I'm hoping that some of this will fade away and go away. You don't have to support it or think it looks good. 
But you have to realize what I've been through. And you have to realize that I've been through so much pain. And coming here and having you attacking me is just really hard. And I understand that you don't support it. And I understand you're upset and you're disappointed. Imagine looking at your kid and it, like, it doesn't look like your kid anymore. Mom. This is really heavy. This is what I chose and there's nothing that I can take back. Oh, sad. <sighs> it's up. Up. And honestly, like the show, LA, Hollywood, whatever, like did this all to her. Mm -hmm. And I don't like it. I don't like it. It's really sad. No, it's really, it's, it's not good. It's not fun. Is that your, your first one? For sure. I mean, that scene wasn't what I was originally thinking would meet the criteria for unbearable. Yeah. Like, I just thought, like, oh, my God, they're going to do, like, who's breaking. Scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, like, it feels whack, and I don't like, I don't even want to be a part of it. So everybody get along? It's a friendship. I know. Yes. Fun night. Cheers. So much fun Cheers. in Miami. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's open. Oh. You oh, girls look oh, so oh, beautiful. Hello. We have some yeah. I'm a little intimidated right now. Yeah. Where's Sleazy T's what? Oh, yeah. To us all still being here, being friends, yeah. to best friends, let's go rage, regardless of what happens. Yeah. Woo! And Stephanie is in rehab or some sh Brody's out of his mind. Maybe she's not thinking. Where was Sleazy T's fiance? Maybe she couldn't make it. <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, Brent Bolt House, mm -hmm. I saw. Where's JB? I haven't talked to Justin. He doesn't live in Miami. Who are you seeing? No one. So many quick clicks, flash a hot thing. All the people think they know what's best for me. I think it's time we switch the direction. Can't be attention. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god Brody's such a flirt. We need to go, we need to go, we need to leave. Right now, right now, right now. Kristen, let's go. I'm not ready to leave yet. It's late. We're taking off. You know what I just remembered? I've never what? told anyone that I hung out with Stephanie Pratt in Vegas one night, and here's the photo. Did you have a fun night? It was a really fun night. I was with Ben and Nicole and Josh, and I don't know, she like came to the club that night. Mm -hmm. I think she was friends with Ben. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. We didn't like hang out, uh, the two of us, but right. it's important to, to note that mm -hmm. this picture exists. Oh, she's. Doesn't want the charms. But I don't know what that mother was. Adrena wanted to leave because Brody was flirting with her. Mm. No one would ever want to do that. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How are you feeling? My feet are so tore up. I'm dancing and mine too. I have band aids on my. I don't think I'm gonna wear heels tonight. I can't. But wait a minute, Audrey. Like, why did just you and Brody go to the bar? Like, what was going on? Was he like trying to woo you still? All those boys are super flirty. I, Everyone, I, especially when they get drunk. What time did everybody go home? Probably like five. Or what? Lived at five. Crazy woman. Miami is so different than LA. Everything's open all night. I know. <laughs> all night. So what's the deal with tonight, though? Really, like, all night. <laughs> it's like the whole night. It's like the entire night. It's like from dusk till dawn. I don't know if I'm going to make it that late tonight. <laughs> I can't even speak, so. We should maybe just so do something mellow tonight. Like, we can hang out at the hotel or something. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. We're in Miami, but tonight it's better. We're going up. We're gonna have a nice. I want to be Yeah, I think we should toast to to a new Heidi. <laughs> how does it how does it make you feel now that you're starting to become 
this person that you wanted to be? I nice try, Tim. Better than ever. As dramatic and crazy as it was, I couldn't be happier with the results. Yeah, your face is more structured. It looks like it's tighter or like you're frozen or... Plastic. Cold. Well, I wouldn't choose to use that word. But don't you think it's so weird, though, that you were always, like, so outgoing and so confident, and I was envious of the confidence that you had. I don't know what happened. What? That's not like a casual thing you say at dinner. <laughs> no. You guys think it's so weird how you used to be outgoing and now you're like, so not. <laughs> Let's discuss. Yeah, I think that I just wanted to be happier and I couldn't fix who I was being upset with how I looked on the outside. I would like to see the choice made to deal with the insecurity on a psychological level. And that's great for you. And you live in the mountains. You don't live where I live. So it's does that make a difference? Home. Of course it does. So should you not live in that area? I don't want to get into this right now. I really don't. I'm just having a mature adult conversation with a brilliant, articulate woman. Mm -hmm. With a very sore jaw. How's that burger? I can't really chew it. Do you want me to put it in a blender for you? Enough. It's, it's going too far. Of course, Sky's kid is yeah. like, what is happening? Awful. Really, really terrible. This is just frustrating. So what do we do? We keep waiting or do no. we go out? We've already been waiting like an hour and a half. She's the one who wanted to stay in tonight. What has she been doing for the last eight hours? Here's the thing. I have no problem saying, you ditched us this weekend. Yeah, it's we were supposed cool. to be here together. Like, Girls exactly. weekend, get to know each other, hang out, become closer. I mean, she obviously got mad when you and Brody went to the bar together at the Maxim party. Brody's the one trying to pursue me. Absolutely. And for once, the guy that she wants back doesn't want her back. He wants me, and that she doesn't like that. Exactly. It's so weird. It's like up and down with her. It's a roller coaster. You never know I what mean, you're going to get. We all know why. We see her every morning, and she looks like her eyes are bloodshot. She looks like. Do you know what I mean? Like, hello. Oh, like it would give Drugs. her mood swings. Yeah. And I know. that's. I, I just mean, think for like, me personally, like I can't be around that kind of a you know. person. Yeah. Because of where I am in my life with the DUI, she's just a liability. No, none of us need to. This is dangerous. Space. Yeah. There's drugs and there's crackheads. Like, I, don't know, I just think what? something's wrong. I don't know. Lo just called her a crackhead? Yeah, she said she didn't want to be in a place where there's drugs and there's crackheads. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that was the so night safe. before. She was in the black, that tube dress on Friday night. She wouldn't wear it two nights in a row. No. Chasing with orange juice. Kristen, we have to go to the airport. Kristen, we think you're on drugs. We have to leave for the airport. Let's do it. What time did you get home? Where have you been? We haven't seen you in one day. Who were those other chicks? Why do you guys look all cute? We you didn't go out last hours. night. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where'd you go? Everywhere. So this room is a mess. Yeah, it's disgusting. There are like smells in here. What time did you guys get home? They're like, go in there and give Kristen a hard time. They're like, no problem. All of them. And then who the random people popped out of the bed. Yeah, who the f were those people? <laughs> they were just like, they just popped out and left. <laughs> Scatter! <laughs> like ninjas. They're like, get the crack and go. <laughs> Where was it? No, 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 the sun was still. What well, hasn't come up yet? How tired are you right now? I'm pretty tired, yeah. But I'm not the Dramatic. only one that's on this page. <laughs> Everybody else is. I mean, I feel I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> cool. Who are like the friends that like, yeah, where did they go? I don't know, they bolted out of here. I think we just all came to make sure you were coming home and, you know. I'm not letting I can get go. another flight. Yeah, I can also, I'm an adult woman. Oh, thanks, Walleran, let's go. 
Okay. Stephanie's wearing sequins to go to the airport. Like I can, I'm fine. Yeah, maybe you I'm need the intervention, <laughs> Stephanie. You're like, Lo has a bump it in, okay? Let me sleep for two hours and then I'll get myself home. We're not even friends. This does not look good for the rest of season six. I'm like with her right now, like, there's no accountability. No, what? you guys are being such a... <laughs> Don't use that. Use it, because if Whitney's calling me that word, you know. If she even comes out with her sunglasses on, I cannot take accountability for no, her. No, okay? I cannot ride to the airport with her if she's gonna be hungover. Okay, <laughs> I have a reputation. Comes out with her sunglasses. On. Seriously, like you have to wear your sunglasses around us. Like, hey. Hey, I'm in this room. The door's not even closed. And I'm off, I can go Stop off on you guys. Mean girls. I'm not talking. It's just like, what's wrong with you? I'm what's over. What's wrong with me? How do you stay up until 8 a.m. every single night? Like, I'm in bed by I 4 wasn't up until 8 a.m. every single night. And even if I was, so what? I mean, yeah. I don't know you that well, so I'm not going to sit here and keep dwelling, but we are worried about you. Me not hanging out with you last night isn't like, oh, screw you guys. I don't want anything to do with you. Kristen, like, people are saying things about you. Like, you are. Like, oh, really? Like what? I mean, do you really want me to say it? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, everybody's saying that you're doing drugs. Oh my god. Hey, Kristen, your legs are like tiny. You're wearing sunglasses <gasps> all day. Stephanie, you just woke me out of bed. Of course I'm gonna put sunglasses on. It's been a rough couple of days. My legs are tiny. My legs have always been tiny. Like, you're one to talk. Don't say anything. Um, how am I one to talk? Because you clearly have an issue with alcohol. And I'm fine. So don't come here and attack me and start talking on me. I mean, bottom line, Kristen, like, we're leaving at 4 o'clock. If you're not down there, we're going home. But we wanted to wake you up, okay? All right. I got my own flight. Yeah. I'm hungry. Already thinking about lunch. Is this she not like a move? Like, where are they? They're like. She's you know. looking for her drugs. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah. I think they had like three cameras in there for all the other people, and then they were like, just film her. And they had three cameras shooting her, and they were mm -hmm. like, let's lose a bunch of different angles. Yeah, like, let's do something artsy. Yeah, I think uh, it was a lot for me to come out. I thought it was too soon, and maybe it was. We all love you and miss you. And, uh, Pick up the phone and call mom. Um, hey. Thank you so much for coming. I love you. Dad, I love you. What a nice guy he seems to be. Tim Rawls. your car. I just so much appreciate your coming. You know, yeah. I had no idea how fragile you were. I had no idea physically what you had gone through. And hearing it over the phone was a lot different than seeing it in person. Me too. Yeah. I think I've had enough for a while. Enough plastic surgery, or enough yes. of mom. Up in the air. Very sad, this whole situation. Yeah, it is. Very sad. Like so sad, I can't even talk about Holly's headband. <laughs> <laughs> Matching her lipstick. Yeah, they seem like such a sweet family. Yeah. That, I really don't know. Well, we don't have to know. That wasn't, were there any moments of unbearability? No, not in the way that I had thought, so I, we'll keep going. But I think we should just talk about plastic surgery for a second. I don't think that Heidi shouldn't have done it, or it's my place to say if she looks better or worse, or like pass judgment on like something 
that is obviously extremely personal and like difficult for piety and you know whoever else but i do think that there is a difference between being like yeah i never liked the way my nose looked and like getting a nose job mm -hmm. and like taking it to it and like extreme. being unhappy with who you are as a person and then thinking it changing everything about your physical appearance is going to do that. And it seems like that is what is going on with Heidi. Yeah. I don't know that that's the case and everyone is entitled to their opinion, whatever, but I just wanted to go on the record and explain my personal feelings on, on the situation. Surgery. Yeah, I tend to feel like a lot of things that in moderation, that it is okay and that there's a lot of plastic surgery that's done obviously like for corrective reasons. And then there's, it's just like, it's also about working with a doctor that's not going Going to take it to that extreme where like they're putting your health in at risk and like I think doctors have to take a lot of accountability for how much gets done when I was 16 I broke my nose and had to go like get the bone shifted because it was like bent to one side and while they did it they like shaved the bone off and I've obviously gotten like I've talked about getting Botox and so I feel like I have to like I have a responsibility to be open about what I do and the, the decisions that I've made and not just put my opinions on other people but I feel like in like everything in moderation, it can be there to to help people and to help people self self esteem. But I don't think that it is the answer. I think it's like maybe the eleventh answer for someone. Do you get what I'm saying? I do get what you're saying. It like, is a it's a tricky subject. Mm -hmm. And first and foremost, like just because like I don't think it's a good idea for someone doesn't mean I don't support their right to make mm -hmm. their own decision. Like mm -hmm. Heidi can do whatever she wants. Yes. As an outsider, it just didn't seem like she was addressing the, the problem directly. Mm -hmm. But that's just my opinion. And like, I could be wrong. I'm not inside her head. I don't mm -hmm. know her. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what was going on. I'm just speculating. In terms of you like wanting to get a nose job when you're 16 after you broke your nose and you're like there, why don't you just like take off the bump? Like everyone would understand that because we all have like some level of vanity. I think it can be a slippery slope, but I think that you have to have a real conversation with yourself about it and think about really why you're doing it. And then also go go to a doctor who, who you trust, who is there to help amplify certain things and amplify how you look as opposed to like change or just their focus is, is youth. I don't go to a doctor necessarily that's just like focused on youth. I'm going to someone now that's fo focused on like strengthening skin, then it creates like healthier, supple looking skin. If you're relying on like these things and constantly connecting your self-worth to the way you look physically, then you're gonna get yourself in trouble with this constant trying to keep up and doing unnatural, unhealthy things to your body. And I know I'm talking about this really as like the opposite of an expert and that's probably dangerous because these are real issues that people have, but like, I don't know, I, it, that's how I feel. This is obviously a tough conversation, mm -hmm. but it's important. I think it's important to have these conversations even if they make we, you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, or, or we didn't disagree. say the perfect right thing. Like we didn't like plan out our stance on this hot button topic for you. So like the conversation just flowed the way it did, which I think is way better. We're gonna get strong opinions on either side. Yes. But whatever. I don't care. Bring it up. I think likely people will probably feel similarly that if used to an extreme, it's definitely not healthy. Yeah, right. I would agree, but like the problem is who defines what to the extreme is for each person. Is. Yeah. This is not a sweet start to season. Six. They obviously had to address this, though. Right. I mean, if she did that, they had to follow it. I don't think put on a happy face is an appropriate title. No, it feels like they're mocking it a little bit, which doesn't feel good. So we'll see. I mean, we'll keep, we'll, we'll do two episodes next week, and then we'll see. And we'll, we'll just, we'll see. Peace in the streets.